We've done an update on this tank, which you haven't seen in a long time. This is the tank where we have the smallest fish in our collection. About 20 or so, or 20 some of the remaining Himilotus pictus catfish. Most of them are about four to five inches. This one looks like even six inches. We have uh, five remaining uh, Himilotus ornatus. They don't like the light, so they're hiding in the in the shadow. Starry night cichlid, which I'm not sure you could even see that one. Something I called, I caught, I, I bought from Jeff Reps that he called Pinirampus Piriampus, but it's not. We got uh, two yellow chicks in here. Yellow pigfish bambusa. This was about eight, ten inches. Our only biker, Senegali, from Parker. That's a fish barker. The other three are not us. This one is the biggest Arnatus right there. That one. It's probably close to a foot, maybe ten inches. What else? Barb that I still don't know the name of. The guys gave me some guesses in prior videos, but n none of them really fit this well, except for the genus, but I don't know the species. The uh, Neolisa chilos binazi from Wes, and Tordoronensis from uh, Jeff Raps. And a couple of plecos conclude what you can see here. There is a, a smaller pleco and a yo-yo loach, but they always hide in the inside those dragons or inside that uh, fake plastic piece of wood. So they're somewhere there. They'll never come out in, in the light. So that's the uh, stock of this tank, 240 gallon. Tara and I decided to make come out in the light. Still very small. I just got them from Jeff Raps in January, nine months ago. At a very tiny, like a one inch baby. Heterotilapia polleni. Relatives, as I said, Pimilotus pictus or pictus catfish. That's these guys. But these are a clearly smaller fish, Pictus. And the blocky I was just showing you in the 1800 gallon. We lost one of our older Pimilotus pictus, pictus catfish or polka dot catfish. As you can see, this fish measures tip to tip, 8 inches. It's not the record for us because the reg we regularly raise ours to 7.5, 8, even 8.5 inches. I think this is a female Colombian variety. The Peruvian variety grows smaller indeed and has larger spots with better definition. Colombians have uh, smaller spots and more of them and the definition is poorer. But anyhow, my point is that uh, many people write and you can uh, see that at the stores or in uh, at the 
in the data sheets that pictures don't grow more than five inches. So this is a hard evidence that they do. They do grow to six, to seven, to eight, and some of them grow a little bit even bigger. Typical feeding of the tank with the smallest fish, we call a minnow tank. Grow outs, and also the fish that, go, that don't grow that big. We got two types of uh, NLS pellets, New Life Spectrum, giant and large, as well as uh, Wider cam fortified third glass minnows. barbells, you never have to ask them to partake. Freshwater tarpon, local hoplo catfish, Senegali barker, Pinilotus ornatus, or ornate pin catfish, common silver dollars, lima shovel nose, Tail conceals Pimelotus pictus and There's a whole bunch of other fish There's Pleco in there Loach the Green Gurami A rope fish somewhere A jewel cichlid Delhazi biker. There is a um, North Thailand Detnoid perch. NTT. It's right there under the driftwood. Bushy nose, black hole somewhere there, black ghost knife, I'm probably still forgetting somebody, rainbow shark, go hazy over there in the back, Sinigali on the left and go hazy on the right. It's the biggest ornate him under the decoration. That's about the way it goes down. Why must take pellets pretty well too? These are the smaller half of the Lima shovel nose community. The bigger ones are living uh, 1800 gallons. <laughs> 